It's number four on Whitney Houston Live Week, curated by Ryan. Ryan of England. Let's see. Ryan says, my favorite, greatest love of all performance. That is all. All right. So this is just Ryan's. This is not a... Uh, objectively the the best. This is Ryan yeah. subjectively the best. Ryan was very confident uh, in, in the last song on about the last one, what yeah. was the best one. 1988, so this is an older one. At Wembley. Oh, uh, I know why. Because Ryan's British. Oh, okay. I believe <laughs> the children our future teach them well and let them lead the way show them all the beauty to be everybody's searching for a hero people need someone to look up to I've never found anyone who fulfilled my needs it's a lonely lonely place to be but I
Okay. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Where are we at again? Yeah. What are Joe. we doing here? Just what a journey. <laughs> I mean, I'm just sitting here thinking, okay. I, 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 yeah, greatest love of all. I kid. <laughs> yeah, kids are I, future. I, 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 I agree. I, agree. I can see it. Yeah. It all, all makes sense to me. I'm committed. I'm into it. Yeah. yeah. Greatest love of all is inside of me. She just leaves it all out on the line, man. There's no, no. Nothing spared. I do really like the because uh, I think we've heard this a couple of times. I do really like the way she hits this this most recent chorus. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a total it's a total you, change up. You and the rest of the planet. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. And like, you know what? This is just my opinion. Honestly, I think this is pretty good. I like this part. Here. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, you know that you know the second chorus when she like does her singing part. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was good. Yeah, against popular opinion. Yeah, I mean, a lot I'm just, of people have been saying it wasn't very good, but lot, you, Joe said. I'm just it was saying, good. like, I know this may be controversial, but I think Whitney Houston's <laughs> a pretty good singer. Like a lot of people, you know. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it's 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 incredible. I know when when she because she she switches up the melody and goes up even higher, and it's unbelievable. And that last part portion, or she just. You're just wondering where she was going to cut back in with the lyrics when she was singing this. Uh, she was just revving up the engines. I don't know any other way, any other way to describe it. Pause it here. She's, How, just, she's yeah. just screwing around with. Uh, she's yeah. just having she's fun. Screwing around. <laughs> she's just having fun. She's just messing with our heartstrings. Yeah, I know. She's like, hmm, I wonder what it would be like over here. <laughs> I like what she's got. It's it's. I, I feel like there's a little bit of. A, come on, guys. It's easy. <laughs> yeah. It's like anyone can do it. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to achieve. Obviously. How about this '80s blazer she's rocking? And how it just shimmers and glistens in this light. Ooh. It's wonderful with the big shoulder pads. I think my greatest love for all is for whenever Whitney Houston's singing. I have the greatest, that's the greatest love of all, is my love for that. It, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah. What I find interesting, since we just went from a 1994 performance to a 1988 I can hear her voice sounds a little younger. Yeah, it's not as like uh, I don't know, fully as like matured or because when was she seasoned. born? Nineteen sixty four. I don't know. And that so, sounds about right. I think she's quite young, only twenty four in this. Yeah, you can hear she just sounds younger. Yeah, but man, still no lack of power. The power is all there. There never was a lack of power. It's just, it's, I mean, you, it's fascinating to hear it with any singer over, over time. Everyone's voices change. Yeah. Like when I was, when I, 1988, my voice was nothing like it was <laughs> back in 88. It was re- it was even hard to hear. <laughs> yeah. No one could even hear me. You just play it from right here. Right here. It's the greatest, the greatest love of all. And if I chance.
is she just like in the middle of the arena and she's surrounded by the audience? <laughs> is that what's going on here? Yeah, the band is in the pit. I love this. How cool is this? I know. The Whitney. Cur- Curse of Whitney. You know what I loved is that there was still Dang, like epic. There was still like a minute and a half of that video, and she sang like three notes. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, holding yeah, them, yeah. holding them. See, you could tell this was uh, well. I'm assuming this is her own show, like this is a Whitney Houston show. Yeah, I would not, guess not like an award ceremony, because when she sang this at that award ceremony, when she takes that pause. Right at the end, before hitting the final note, yeah, everyone starts applying, appl- giving the applause. They think it's the end of the song, and then she comes back out and just rips that last note. You're just like, oh man! But here, I think everyone, since they're a fan, they like they know this is not the end of the song. And you'll because never the, know. it was pretty silent on, like the crowd wasn't cheering or doing anything. They were waiting for that moment. Dang, Whitney Houston in an arena on just like one like twenty foot diameter stage. Yeah, I, I know. Like I, just her, just right. It, it doesn't even. Have to, it, that's that seems even smaller than that. No, like twenty feet in diameter. Yeah. I would. I would love to get like. If I would well, love keep the playing. Let's see. There's still st- another forty seconds left. I don't know if there's any other shots. I think that's as good as it gets there. Where's the paint? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's not like this. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You know, I think if I'm coming out for an award, I want that to be played for it. I'm just walking out there. Yeah, same. And Joe wins best YouTube reaction. <laughs> yeah. And I'm walking out. The greatest love. <laughs> what about the funky cheap. part of this song? That yeah, came out of nowhere for me. Yeah. That special place. Slow funk. Oh, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. Joe. I'm not say, gonna you know, lie to you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of understand the, uh, kind of get the, the hype. Like, I'm starting to understand the hype now. Yeah. Whitney Houston. You know, like all these years, I was like, is she really that good? <laughs> I'd love for someone just to see that 15 second portion. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Court Whitney's, she's the voice. <laughs> Sorry, sarcasm is very fleeting in this world. I like, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I like it all. It's very, uh, it's very, it's very good. Um, I love, I, I love seeing her little '80s style. I think she it's so fun. I was, pr- I had like three things I was gonna say about what just happened, but mm. I, 
I became overwhelmed, and the only way I can handle uh, my emotions <laughs> is by making bad jokes. So I'm just stuck <laughs> over here, just kind of fumbling the bag right now. Uh, Joe, such is life. It's all right. That was. Yeah, I was also going to say about two or three things about that ending. It's just incredible. I love the moment where she just like leans her head back and like her eyes are barely open. She's just gently smiling. Just wait. Just giving it that moment that it needs. Let's let's take one more look and then we'll oh. we'll move on cuz that's I don't know. It just seems so I don't know how to explain it. Let's do this. You know? She could have done anything, but she just... Just just for a moment. And then she leans back her microphone and she goes, If you smell... (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you imagine? (laughs) And that was the first time it was done. He actually... uh, The Rock stole it from Whitney Houston. The Rock stole it from Whitney. Yeah. No, but look at the range of emotion that kind of goes through her face. It's kind of incredible. This is almost like a slight sense of joy, and then there's kind of like a concern, and then like a... I don't know, there's a lot There's a lot of... it's a That's like a two-second odyssey <laughs> through human emotion. I see so much there. I mean... Maybe she wasn't feeling anything. Who knows? But she's expressing it. And well, it's, it's a performance. It's amazing. Something I think is really interesting is in this in this moment, singing in front of an entire arena, like spending that one moment to just kind of look up and just be like, I'm singing. I'm singing a song. Yeah, to take to that like, moment and be like, whoa. To like 16,000 <laughs> people right now or however large this arena is. And they're just all just staring at me, waiting for me to say the next thing. And maybe, like, and maybe this is she a moment. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a moment. <clears throat> That's a great point because maybe she did feel all those emotions that she's conveying with her face, and she's just able to step in and out of those or ma- maneuver through them without it, like without it distracting her. Because someone like me, I start feeling emotion. I'm do- I'm dove in, and it's I can't jump out in a, in an instant. No. Mike, you got to stop I'm in your one. moments and you got to take a breath sometimes. I am. A, oh, I do. But that breath lasts. I mean, Grant, I know she's performing, but I don't think that I can for one second just soak it all in and then get right back to it. I. It would be much more jagged and rigid. Your breath is more like you were drowning and you finally got to gasp for air. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> no, no, I take, I, I take it all in and everything, just... but I... Uh, I really, I get fully consumed by it, is what I should say. It's I, I don't switch. I don't switch gears like 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 this. I don't think. Yeah. I think it goes hand in hand with how she's able to maneuver and manipulate her voice. Unless you, you know, know she's like, playing it too. Yeah, yeah. She's playing all the emotion right. for the audience. Right. Whether she's feeling it or not, it seems like she is because she's pretty genuine, but she's like, you know, it's all about, oh, it gets like that one little second. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to talk about in the I Will Always Love You. I wonder if they ever just like push it a few more measures, you know? Maybe. Just maybe live. Get the crowd, it. get the crowd to start clapping. You know, everyone oh, stands up. That's a dangerous Just task, revving Joe. it up and just. I think. I think yes, it'd be great to get the crowd clapping, but you can't, you cannot rely on a crowd to clap on tempo. Well, they're not going to clap on tempo. It's because the pause is so oh, long. People you're just talking start about an applause, like an applause. Okay. Yeah, the applause starts happening, and then you hit with the, you know, with the final chorus. I will always love you. Oh, I wonder what yeah. the longest like break. You could just let that sit. Look around, everyone, smile a little bit. <laughs> you know, do man, I would though. totally do that at least one time. The longest break measure, and I will always love you. 35 minutes. Joe just took a nap. All right, moving on.